Hello, my name is Sharon Lang and I'm a portrait artist. I use my art to illustrate what I'm passionate about. This is Freedom, Liberty Lighting Our Way, an oil portrait of America that I created out of a need to express my feelings about our country and the turmoil that we continue to wake up to each morning. I refuse to accept the belief that hatred and racism will be our legacy, that the unconscionable actions of an extreme-minded few will be allowed to destroy what this amazing country of ours was built upon. It was built upon different people coming together to build a phenomenal dream, the American dream, where led by liberty, we could achieve anything together. So I created a personified Lady Liberty, symbolizing the ideal of freedom that we all look up to. Gathering before her are all of us, a diverse group of hopeful Americans representing many faiths and ethnicities. And in the foreground, an American soldier, the only one not looking up at liberty, gazing out into her light, protecting all the freedoms we're blessed to enjoy here. The First Amendment of our Constitution is the foundation of our freedoms, and all five freedoms guaranteed under that amendment are represented in this painting. Beginning with freedom of religion, there are five different faith leaders illustrated in the painting. A Catholic priest, Jewish rabbi, a Muslim imam, a Buddhist monk, and a Protestant minister. All gathered together to participate and pose for me, along with all the others in the painting, to show their love for our country and the freedoms they enjoy, to preach and share their religious views with their followers. Freedom of speech and freedom of the press are represented by the student protester who proudly waves his commitment to his cause to vote yes to whatever he feels passionate about. How blessed are we to feel free to express our passion for whatever it is we believe in. Freedom of petition is illustrated by the petition the rabbi holds in his hands. And what better demonstration of freedom of assembly can there be than the fact that all of these people gathered together in one place at the same time to show their support for the ideal of freedom and to illustrate that diverse, committed Americans can and do come together to support a common cause. I believe we have a powerful common cause we need to come together in support of right now. We are in danger of losing what this country was built upon if we do not reject the voices preaching fear and prejudice. The enemy are not the good Americans that you see every day that come in every race, color, and creed. Our enemy is misguided hatred and the fear it creates. Succumb to this and our enemy wins. The truth is, the only way to defeat this enemy is with all of us working together to overcome it.